Good morning, gentlemen. It is Sunday morning. Uh, we are boots on the ground in Tennessee, and we've tied in with uh, TJ at Grindstone Ministries. He invited us down uh, to uh, help out with the hurricane relief. I was, uh, when I decided to, to do this, uh, I'm not coming down here to do content. We were just coming down here. It was gonna take a week off and just plug, get, us, get ourselves plugged in uh, wherever they needed help. Uh, TJ asked me uh, to share some content, to make some content of what's going on and, and what's really happening on the ground. I'm going to put links to Grindstone Ministries. They're going to be here for another three weeks or so, and they could certainly use volunteers. So I'll put the information, I'll direct you to their website if you want to do that. So I will be sharing content. My primary focus is going to be, we're going to be on a SAW team today. So uh, this is a really, really organized impressively organized organization when we rolled up on to the camp it was as organized if not more and better led than national fires from forest service fire camps that i've been on uh and it's run like a it, it's just it's really good where we have a team leader uh, every team will go out with a medic and just the spirit and the heart of the people is so different than fires there's good people on fires, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people are there for the money. It's more mercenary, where everyone here is here on their own dime because they want to be, and it's just a very special environment that I feel very blessed to be part of. So I'll uh, give you a quick walk around the camp. Uh, we'll have our meeting. Uh, to, we're gonna head out here in about 15 minutes, and uh, I'll bring you along today uh, the best that I can. Mr. Brian and I will be uh, on a saw, saw team today. Uh, so we've loaded up. We've got a 661 there, I think. We've got 661 and a 4, 462. Uh, chains, saws, packs, bar oil, mix, water, food, some bull rope. We're going to basically be doing tree work today. So I grabbed a little bit of everything because I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing. But you can see here as we walk around, we're staging at um, a local church uh, that has very graciously opened up their doors for us. And uh, we're staying inside the ki the kindergarten's <laughs> school room, so we're in there on cots. Uh, a lot of people are sleeping in their rigs. But just to show you some of the resources, we've got uh, refrigerator trucks, or we, Grindstone Ministry does. But the outpouring of support from the community and all across the country has just been amazing. All these pieces of equipment you see here are guys that are volunteering their equipment, their trailers, their time. A lot of the local businesses and national businesses are supplying all of this water. I mean, the water and the supplies, it's just incredible. Incredible. Everyone here is a volunteer. A whole fuel station. I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to believe. Look at the propane and the fuel and the gas and all of that equipment over there. One of the biggest concerns that we have is the temperature is getting pretty cold. It's getting down into the 40s. And a lot of the folks, how are you doing, Jay? A lot of the folks are um, don't have heat and don't have power. So, getting kerosene, blankets, warm clothing, and heaters uh, out to the to the folks in the community has been kind of a, a paramount importance. We have a job today to go uh, help a guy. I think his name is Alan uh, to get his house cleared. He's got a whole bunch of trees and stuff over his power lines, and we're going to see about that. So, I'm going to jump in the meeting. I don't know how I feel about this, Mr. Brian. Yeah, run what you brought, right? Cody? You dance with the one you brought, yes. <laughs> we are held up here. I think the road is turning to single lane. And we got uh, dump trucks coming up, so we're trying to share the road here. We got a railroad crossing, so we're just waiting for our turn. Just look at that, Brian. There's a car over there. Watch out for an inbound dump truck. 
We're coming coming up on our second drop point, so from here we're just going to be kind of guys will be peeling off, and we'll be plugging them into different uh, houses that need help. I think we're going to go to the farthest end, uh, to the last, the third church. Churches seem to be kind of the drop points, the gathering points for uh, all of the aid workers, all the helpers. How did you get started on your channel? Yeah, me. Yeah. Um, so it was during COVID. I've been a tattoo artist for about 14 years, and there was an ad on Facebook asking for people to um, help review people's tattoos. About this whole section here, and press in a piece of carbon or aluminum. Oh. Like a piece of carbon, and it takes like a third of the weight out. It is 4.30. I think the crew probably got, it's gotta be two, two and a half cords of, uh, looks like poplar and oak, and got all of this brush all cleaned up. So it was all really twisted and tangled in here. This whole drainage here just all washed out and had to rebuild the ro road and, and everything, but it looks a whole lot better and got quite a bit of, probably enough firewood to get through the winter anyway. Yeah, this looks good. This was all crisscrossed with trees and brush, and the guy's got that all cut out so he can get his little mini digger out. And I think next we're going to head up the road. I'll probably shut the video down here today. I do believe Grindstone is going to be down here for another three weeks, I think is what TJ told me. And he is, uh, they are looking for people to help. If you can come down here and help, if you have us, uh, ability to to be uh to do radio uh heavy equipment chainsaws uh, all those things are very handy emts medical skills i will put uh, i'll pin it to the top to the top comment and to the uh in the subject heading the link to grindstone and there should be a tab on there just look around on the front page of how to volunteer send an email there they'll get back to you uh, and uh, to see if, if it's uh, a good fit and it's something that, uh, that you can do. Uh, it's a great organization. 
it's um, it's very very impressive it's as good as any government run organization I've ever seen and better the difference is I think I said before that being on fires you know get most guys are in it for the money I think mo I think it's I mean that's, that's a reasonable thing but everyone here and all the crews that I'm working with they're all here because they want to be and they're spending their own money I spent uh, an hour or so last night with a, a pilot and co-pilot that flew all the way down from uh, Nebraska, burned their own fuel with a jet ranger, uh, and worked down here for a week uh, delivering uh, cadaver dogs and um, delivering people around search and rescue crews. You know, that, that that's, that's incredible. And all this equipment you see and this bobcat behind me, you know, we rolled today pretty deep. We had, uh, I think, three skid steers, uh, maybe four, and a mini excavator, maybe two mini excavators, and a whole bunch of power saws, and we were just one crew. We, were, we had so many, we split up into two, and just got a lot of good work done. So if it's on your heart to volunteer, I would encourage you to do it. It's, um, you'll be, uh, it, it's a life-changing experience. I just wasn't prepared for the level of devastation, and, and I, guess, well, I guess what I wasn't prepared for was just the, the high-quality people, uh, all, all uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say other than it's just very humbling, and I feel very blessed to be a part of it. And uh, if you'd like to be part of that and it's on your heart, you know, volunteer. Go to Grindstone and uh, sign up. There's still time to come down. There's going to be a lot of need.